Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, all right? So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna ring the bell twice and then we're gonna get into uh, the messages, okay? All right, Libra, let's get into the reading. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guide, Spirit Team of the Highest White Light. Please be with me through this reading for the Libra Collective. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. If there's any evil eye, negative energy, spell work that may be being sent this way, I ask that it is returned to sender tenfold and or transmuted into more positive energy, positive vibes. All right, let's get into it. Thank you for your continued guidance, support, protection, and love. Please protect me as I channel the messages for Libra's highest good. And thank you. Ashe. Amen. All right. So, I hope everybody's doing good. Okay, I hope everybody's having a, what's today, Wednesday? Oh, happy hump day. I hope everybody's having a good day. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see what messages um, come out for you guys at this time, okay? Check for Libra. Check for Libra, the Libra Collective, my Libra love, soul tribe, soul family. Whoever needs to hear a message right now, Spirit, what is the message for Libra? Okay, well, wasn't ready for cards, but you have the Page of Swords out here. Page of Swords um, is like a watching, spying energy, um, lurking. Page of Swords could be someone trying to find out information. This could be, uh, excuse me, gossiping. I'm hearing phone cloud. Like, like the iCloud. The letter F could be significant. Somebody's first name could be Trina. Here in Darius. Page of Swords. Somebody is looking back at something, looking back at some messages or looking back at something. I'm also hearing a phone call. This could be you or it could be somebody in your energy. Please remember that I could be picking up on your energy, the energy of somebody around you, somebody you're thinking about or somebody who's thinking about you, whether or not you know this person. I'm hearing David. The number six could be significant. The letters O, A, or U could be significant. The letter E. Um... I'm not hearing backstabbing and betrayed, like Ten of Swords. I mean, the time has finally come. I'm hearing reciprocity, equal give and take, reciprocity. Somebody's watching you, Page of Swords energy. Something about cloud, the eye cloud, storage. Okay, what's going on? Okay, this could be somebody that you're not communicating with. The Eight of Wands flipped in the reverse. There's like somebody can't come towards you or you're not talking to someone or there's no communication between you and someone. And this person, this could be the person that's watching you. What else? nine of swords somebody may be in their head because you're not talking to them now switch the energies if you need to but you know there's there's no communication going on 
There's no travel going on with you and somebody. And somebody is like in their head, having trouble sleeping, worried or anxious about the lack of communication or worried about something that they're seeing. Ace of Wands. I'm hearing, you should have told me I wasn't fun enough. You should have told me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, Kelly Price. My name could be Kelly. <laughs> but you let me on and kept me going. And we never should have wasted this time. You can feel like your time was wasted with someone. Maybe you feel like somebody led you on or somebody can feel like you led them on. Libra. Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you. Ace of Wands is like a passionate new start, a new beginning. Somebody's, somebody's worried. Okay, okay. So I feel like because you're not talking to someone or communicating with someone at a distance maybe, or maybe you distance yourself from this person and pull back your energy. This person is worried about you having a new start or new beginning. They're worried about who you sleeping with. Um, if you're sleeping with someone, if you, you know, got somebody else, they're worried about if you like, um, are in a commitment with somebody else. Or if you, you know, if you've moved on. And they're watching you. They could be watching you trying, like I said, trying to find out information or trying to like gather clues or something like that about, you know, what you may or may not have going on. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Um... Okay, I'm gonna keep using this deck. Sorry, I know it's on the top. Why is the eight of um wands in reverse? Well, yeah. Let's see. Do I want to clarify the page of swords? Let's clarify the page of swords. keep hearing the name David and I'm hearing David Archuleta you know like a singer or something why is the page of swords here somebody may be listening to uh, page of swords I almost said seven of swords so let's see page of swords why is it here Eight of Wands. I mean, damn, Eight of Wands. <laughs> eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands? Oh, that's this. I'm so silly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like Eight of Wands. Okay, yeah. So you walked away from somebody. You're not. You're not talking to this person. You're not talking to this person. Um, you walked away. That maybe this person walked away. There's no communication. Um, between you and whoever this is. Somebody turned their back on the situation, this connection, or you walked away. Eight of Wands, you're not communicating with this person. All right. So, clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse. No action, no communication, no forward movement. Why is um the Eight of Wands in reverse? Clarify. I'm hearing, take your time and work me slowly. Cause I'm the kind of girl who needs the kind of guy that can last. <laughs> something about slowly, taking something slowly, taking your time. Did I say that at the beginning? I feel like I channeled, I said something about taking your time at the beginning. I don't know. I can't remember. I have to go back. Eight of Wands in reverse. Why is it here? <sighs> okay. Mm. Five of Swords. I feel like you're not talking to someone or not dealing with someone because you can feel like this person is playing games. You can feel like this person is manipulating you. Um, somebody could feel like you're not talking to them as a like a way of trying to manipulate them or something like that. But um, 
I'm hearing I'm, something about the Three Stooges. Something about the Three Stooges. Um, the five is, I'm hearing commitment issues. I'm hearing commitment issues. So you're not, maybe you're not talking to someone because you feel like they have commitment issues. Or this person, you know, is they do have commitment issues. And you could feel like, you know, you could feel like they're manipulative or like they're playing games with you or something like that because they have commitment issues. But I said Seven of Swords. Look, there it is. There's, I don't know what that's about, but we'll see if it comes out. Clarify the Five of uh, Swords. I feel like you're not talking to someone because, you know, if this is you not talking to somebody, it's because you felt like this person was manipulating you or playing games with you, okay? Possibly could have tried to have you caught up in, like, some third-party situation um, or just, you know, mm, I don't know. What's the Five of Swords? What's the Five of Swords? Clear messages, please. Clear messages. What's the Five of Swords? Thank you. Look, the world in reverse. Somebody does not want something to be over. They're waiting on something. Ooh, damn, that's a lot of majors. Ooh, jeez, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, the world card in reverse. The world card uh in the upright talks about you know a chapter ending, a cycle, um, moving to the next chapter or something like that or a new beginning. I feel like this cycle is not over or somebody doesn't want the chapter to be closed or somebody doesn't want something to be over. Give me the world card in reverse. Thank you. Okay, seven of pentacles, the queen of wands, and the two of pentacles. There's confusion here. The, the somebody's name is Mia or Tia. Um, the letter E is significant. I'm getting earned. I see earned or learned. So I may be learning a lesson or something about earned. Um, the number seven is significant. Seven days, seven hours, seven minutes. I don't know. Something about seven. Um, the letter J, the letter S could be significant. It's my first, last, or middle initial. The letter T, I'm seeing TT, somebody's name could be TT, nickname. Um, the number three could be significant. The number five. But, um, and the number six I already said, it's showing up again. You could be seeing 666. I'm hearing tavern, but a tavern is like a bar. So something about a bar could be significant. I don't know. It's... But the Seven of Pentacles talks about investing. It's planting seeds, waiting on something to grow. But it's 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 the energy of waiting, waiting um to see if something happens, waiting on something to grow. It's um nourishing something like you have to invest in whatever it is that you're planting, whatever seeds that you're planting. You got to make sure that you're you know nourishing it and taking care of it and things like that. Um, this queen of wands and the two of pentacles, somebody could be juggling or confused about something. Somebody may be confused about where they want to invest their time and attention or where confused about where you're investing your time and attention. Like if you're not talking to me, then what are you doing? Uh, let me clarify this queen of wands. Who is this queen of wands going to do? Why is it here? Queen of Wands. Uh, let me, oop, King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Child, a happy family, equal give and take reciprocity. I said that. The Will of Fortune. Oh, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, Queen of Swords. That's you. Somebody come wants to come in. Ooh. Okay, Libra. It looks like somebody wants to come in with an offer, but. Who's this Queen of Wands? Let me, let me.
Let me get the two on this Queen of Wands. Hold on. Let's get the tea on this Queen of Wands energy. This may be the person, I don't know. Some of you may be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, I'm also seeing Capricorn, Virgo out here, Aquarius. Give me the tea on this Queen of Wands energy. more shuffles. We need the tea. Sorry, y'all. I need two, two more shuffles to cut again. All right. Um, this Queen of Wands could be somebody that's broke, maybe taking screenshots and obsessive. Trying to find evidence, proof or, proof or facts. I feel like some, yeah, I feel like somebody's like watching your page. And taking screenshots of, of you or so, or your pictures or what you're posting or something like that. You got an obsessive lover here. Stalker. Shit. Stalking, watching. They're taking pictures of your of your post. Somebody, you got a stalker. Whoever this Queen of Wands energy is. Tell me about this Queen of Wands person. What's the tea on this Queen of Wands? Okay, giving money. Child. Somebody may not be giving money to this Queen of Wands anymore. Giving money. Somebody, just somebody you've been giving money to? Yeah, see, I just said somebody trying to decide whether they, they want to put in their time and effort and energy and possibly their money or finances. And you got wasting time here. Stuck, no changes, and limited and uninterested. Huh. So, whoever this Queen of Wands energy is, it's like, there's, somebody feels like this person is wasting their time and they're uninterested. Why do I feel like somebody's trying to pay someone to like deal with them or be with them or something like that? That's what? This could be you. Like maybe, you know, somebody's trying to give you money, but you feel like, you know, they're wasting your time. You're, you're just not interested. Like money is not going to hold you or keep you in a, you know, manipulative, toxic situation or somebody is dealing with this. Somebody is dealing with someone who's trying to keep them stuck by giving them money or by providing for them financially or something like that but that person's not interested so this could even be this could either be you or this could be you know somebody that you're dealing with that's dealing with this person because um queen of wands and king of wands for me are third party energies so this feels like an outside source an outside person that somebody's not interested in but this person is trying to like kind of buy them or buy their attention or buy their affection or something like that. But, you know, somebody's not interested and they're walking away. The Eight of Cups energy. See, walking away, Eight of Cups. Look at this. This girl is walking away from this dude. She's like, I don't care what kind of car you drive. I don't care how much money you got. I'm not staying in this situation because it's not benefiting me spiritually or it's not benefiting me you know, in, in 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 any other way except financially. But with the five of swords out here, it's like I got to deal with bullshit to get this. Like for financial reasons, like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Fuck it. So, yeah. I, yeah. Ignoring. Look, ignoring. Somebody's a groupie. Somebody just wants this person's attention. Somebody just wants somebody's attention. OK, and I feel like they're not giving it to them. So I feel like there is a third party. Out here. I'm here an outside source or outside resource um, that either on your side or or if you're connected with another person on their side and that person is like trying to buy this person's affection or attention or something like that. But the, but, you know, they're not interested 
and I'm hearing missing you. So I'm feeling like this person is not interested in whatever this third party energy is offering because they're um, missing you. Truth. I feel like they're missing you. Whoever this person is, your person, they're not interested in, you know, dealing with this other person because or this could be you this could be you walking away from somebody that's trying to buy your love and buy your affection and you're just not interested you're like i can get my own money i gotta take care of my own shit what are you talking about i don't need that Somebody feels like they wasted their time also investing in someone, giving somebody their time and attention and their money and nothing changed here. So somebody feels like they wasted their time with someone. All right. You got anxiety, which is what we're about to clarify next. That worry, that anxiety, that stress. Okay. You got breakup, which is somebody, what does it say? Walking away, ending, separation, it's over, text message and healing. Somebody is anxious or re or something you know about a breakup <sighs> somebody's walking away from a situation and, and you could be getting communication from this person they wanted to heal something with you but this person has been stressing out about this situation about this breakup about this ending so either this is somebody that you're dealing with that is ending something with a third party and they want to come in and communicate with you and heal something um, but they're having like anxiety about it or this third party energy, this breakup or separation or whatever has been a burden on this person. And that could be why you're not talking to this person or that could be what's going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. And that could be why you're feeling that manipulative type of energy that why you feel like, you know, you could feel like this person is wasting your time. But I feel like behind the scenes, they dealing with some ish behind the scenes. OK. Yeah. All right. So let's clarify a little more. I feel like I'm going to take this one too and extend it today. All right. And I appreciate all everybody who, you know, is still rocking with the extendeds. Because I know I haven't been posting over there like I should. And I really, really apologize. It's just that when I get into the readings, I be into the readings, y'all. And I be trying to get everything out, all the information out and... You know, but I'm I am definitely going to start posting more um, in the extended readings. OK, or I may do with the do away with the extended altogether. I don't know for sure, but we'll see if I don't see myself posting more in the next, you know, week or so. I'm probably just going to cancel the extended thing because <laughs> I just be into the readings and I just be giving everybody all the tea. So anyways, uh, let's get to the nine of swords. Is there anything else that we need to pull over here, Spirit? Yes. Okay, let's let's use this. Wasting my time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wear glasses. Yeah, I'm getting like expect some type of communication from somebody after they, you know, end something or walk away from whoever this third party energy is. It could be somebody that was just using them for money or I don't know. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this situation? We have rejected somebody being rejected or feels rejected and destiny and you have 10 10 out here the 10 of mirrors and the 10 
The destiny card is 10. This is like the uh the world card. Not the world card. What's the what's the number ten card? Mm, don't make me lie. I don't know. Anyways, um, the will of fortune. I think it's the will of fortune. Yeah, destiny. Like the yeah. Okay. Um, ten ten though. Ten talks about completion. Something is complete. Somebody's rejecting someone and going toward their destiny and their destiny could be you. So this could be this person that's walking away from, you know, a situation or this could be you walking away from a situation and walking into your destiny. OK, what's meant for you or and rejecting, you know, some some past person because this is six of cups energy on the bottom. Somebody wants to give you their heart. Somebody from the past wants to spend time with you. Yeah, I feel like after an ending, they're coming back to continue things with you. And they're they're whoever they're attached to, I feel like that person is going to want to fight you or have words with you or something like that. I'm just putting that out there because, um, and we, we saw this before, like not too long ago. Yeah, you're getting an offer, Page of Cups. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I'm hearing resisting temptation, worried, anxious, anxiety. So why is the nine of swords here? I'm hearing clarity and truth. Okay, you have the four of wands. <sighs> Commitment. Soulmate energy. Family. Community. Commitment. Like a wedding. Um, soulmate. 11-11 you could be seeing. What is this? Why is the four of swords here? Clarifying the nine of swords. Did I say four swords? I meant four wands. Sorry. I feel like I said four swords. Why is the um four wands here? Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Give me more. Ooh, okay. The moon and the high priestess. Good gosh. And the king of cups. Okay. So, yeah, this person is anxious and in their head and they're stressed out because they want a commitment here. And this is somebody that has been going to great lengths to hide their feelings and their emotions or to avoid their feelings and their emotions. OK, but I feel like this person is feeling all the feels. You got the king of cups out here. OK. Knight of Swords, here they come, rushing in to to make a commitment. The, oh, shit. The Hierophant with the Page of Cups, I mean, with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, this is a commitment. Now, you may have two offers, or this could be an offer for somebody who is growing um, emotionally, because you got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups, which the King of Cups is somebody that's emotionally mature. The Page of Cups is emotionally immature, not really, you know, being able to control their feelings. The Knight of Cups, you know, they got a, a bit of a better handle on their feelings and they're ready to move forward to make like some type of um, offer or something like that. And but with this King of Cups coming out, I feel like this person is like feeling all the feels right now, whoever this is. Okay, let's see. Tell me the T on this um, King of Cups. Jesus. Okay. Give me the T on this King of Cups spirit. Because it looks like there was some hidden here, hidden, hidden feelings, hidden emotions, some type of secrecy. Somebody trying to keep something to themselves here. But what this person is really... And again, this could be somebody stressed out because if you're moving toward another person or another situation and leaving this person behind, rejecting this person, then this could be them, you know, in their feelings with the Nine of Swords. Tell me who about this King of Cups energy. Give me the tea on this King of Cups. Give me the tea on this King of Cups, please, Spirit. All right, that's clear. Dust it off. If at first you don't succeed, let yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again, again, again. Oh, I did say something about a third party look. 
Mm -hmm. Love triangle, third party, multiple lovers, and choices. Uh, so, this King of Cups, it's like, I heard that song, if the first you don't succeed, try again, uh, by Aaliyah. Somebody's name could be Aaliyah, but, or the letter A could be significant. I mean, Alicia, Adam, Andy, Amina, Amira, Antoinette. Um, I mean, it almost doesn't count. Somebody's name could be Brandy. It may be too little too late for some of y'all. Almost doesn't count, but you know. Um, but dust it off here. I feel like this person is ready to... It's like they... <laughs> yeah, because I just heard, I put my feelings on safety so I don't go shooting with your hubby. So if this person put their feelings on safety, their feelings on lock, their emotions on lock or something like that, I feel like they're getting ready to dust off um, those feelings and those emotions and they're ready to, you know, clean up their act, so to speak. Whoever this King of Cups energy is for you. They're ready to... to try this situation again or try something again or try love again or give love a try again tell me about this all right so you have um i guess i rejected again too talking shit and photo proof getting evidence What is all of this evidence? Why are people watching you? I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I feel like this is like that third party energy. <laughs> that um, now that this person is like dusting off their feelings. Somebody talking shit. All right. About the situation. So if this is just say you walked away from somebody. There's someone that uh, wants to dust things off and, you know, come towards you. If the, Excuse me. If the third party energy is someone on your side, this person is talking shit. Like, taking screenshots of if you post anything on social media. I don't know. They're just talking shit about <laughs> whatever you have going on. And if this is somebody that's coming toward you... The person that they're rejecting and walking away from is like talking shit. And they could also be on your page, like taking pictures and um like screenshotting your post or something. Like, see, this is this is what you want to deal with. This is it. This is what this you know, like um, weird ass fucking energy, man. Alright guys, so I heard um I I heard um how dare you how dare you walk away and be happy or something like that. So I just, somebody could also be, y'all know how people, how people save things in their camera roll, like for evidence, how people like screenshot things and they just save it so that they can be messy later or whatever, for whatever reason. I feel like, um, when you, if and when, whatever you get with this person, I feel like that third party energy is going to have like a bunch of like screenshot you know just they may even try to show you stuff but somebody's gonna like dust off all of their proof and their evidence and their screenshots and they may be petty they may be posting shit on social media they may try to send shit to you oh this is what this person done and this is what they like nah, 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 nah. <sighs> jeez louise the energy here is like ugh yeah alright let's see <laughs> what else is going on it, this feels like somebody that is um, a little dusty. Mm -hmm. A little dusty that's, you know, jealous, talking shit. I don't get why they would be taking screenshots of y'all pictures, y'all pictures, though. Like this, but I, we did see that somebody was obsessed. So it's like, it's going to be an ex. It's either an ex of yours or an ex of your person's that's obsessed. And they could be obsessed with, like, your life. Even if you're not dealing with this person, if they know that this person got feelings for you or that you have dealt with this person or if they think that this person is coming back to you because they could be a little delulu lulu, you know what I'm saying? And thinking that this person is coming back to you or dealing with you when they're even, when you're not even dealing with this person. You know what I'm saying? So, child, that giving me too much right now. What's going on here? What, what's, what's, what's going on here? 
I hope this is making sense to y'all. Crazy mofos. I have romantic feelings on the bottom of the deck. <sighs> relationship. Romantic feelings relationship. This is somebody. There is somebody that wants this commitment relationship with you, but... This, this third party energy is like cuckoo, cuckoo. All right, you have divine intervention. Something about karma. The divine is intervening in this situation. Yeah, pay attention. Somebody's about to be in a union. And I keep saying that with this Ace of Wands here. So either this person is coming back around and you guys are going to like reconcile and get into a relationship um i do feel like there's a fear of this person like rejecting being rejected or you know ghosting or finding somebody else maybe somebody feels like if this is somebody coming towards you and this is a reconciliation it, and it could be a new person but somebody has a uh is afraid of being rejected or being ghosted again or whatever okay um but there is a new situation there is a passionate new start here for somebody either this is with a brand spanking new person or this is with you know a reconciliation that's happening but either way i feel like the divine you know is intervening on this situation to it's like a tower moment it's a tower somebody's going through It's like somebody that needs to, and this is hypothetical, but it's like somebody that needs to get out of a place. Let's say you're in this building, okay? And the building is rancid. The building is full of rats and roaches and it's like it needs to be condemned and contam you know, it's, it's contaminated. It needs to be condemned. It needs to be torn down or whatever. And you won't leave. And you won't leave. You're like, no, I've been here for so long. And no, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with all the bullshit. Da, 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 da. You won't leave. And so the building just catches on fire. And you ain't got no choice but to leave. It's like, that's divine intervention. Like, all right, you won't leave. I'm going to light this shit on fire. Now you want to stay here and continue to get burned. You want to stay here and get burned. Or you're going to get your ass out of here and, and move on. So it's like somebody is dealing with that whether it's you in a situation or whether it's the person that's coming towards you okay or that you're currently dealing with all right so on the bottom of the deck you have date card and i saw date in the love um oracle deck too first date okay so yeah i feel like this may be somebody something new possessive somebody is possessive but this may be something new or this is like a rekindling i don't know let's see whoa my bad y'all <laughs> it's just the reading is like a lot Ooh, fantasy sweets somebody want to apologize somebody gonna be having some makeup sex somebody gonna be having some makeup sex if this is somebody that you know from your past that you've already been dealing with honey or you know whatever is going on somebody gonna have some makeup sex i'm, like, I'm sorry baby i fucked up i know I ain't shit because this is my ain't shit card I'm sorry. I'm the worst. I know I fucked up. But can we kiss and make up? Ooh, somebody gonna be mad and causing fucking drama. Yeah. Ooh. Somebody could be a single dad. You could be dealing with a single dad or um, you are the single dad. They might take a leap of faith. Opening up for the wrong reasons and advisor. Ooh, somebody opened up to the wrong person, got some bad advice about this situation. Somebody listened to somebody that they should not have been listening to about this situation. And wasn't I saying sixes? There's sixes all over this card. Yeah, I feel like somebody opened up to someone and got some like bad advice on how to handle this situation or what to do. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna uh, any I'm gonna leave the message here, guys, because I want to get into this new energy. I know we've been picking up on this past energy and all this background energy and what's going on, but we already at like 40 minutes. 
So I'm going to leave the message here. I'm going to go to the extended and I'm going to clarify this Ace of Wands card to see what this passion and new start, new beginning is about. Um, and any other messages that come out in that read. OK, so if you guys are interested in the extended, there will be a link below um, for you to join members. And you can do that by going to a uh web version not the mobile version of youtube either on your phone or on a laptop and go to my page and click join and then you'll have access to this reading past readings and any other future extended readings okay that i will be doing okay all right so i'll see y'all later love y'all bye